What I have here today, December 30th, 2011, is an Illinois Watchco Pocket Watch. 18 size. It is key wind from the back. Where's my pointer? Yeah, there's the, uh, plus you can see the hole. And it's key set from the front. The post here is square. And uh, I'm going to take this thing apart. I gotta clean it and oil it because I know it's dirty inside. So, let's start. Thing. How am I gonna do this now? Oh, I wanted to drop this one like that. And then I wanted to change the angle like that. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Oh, too much freaking glare. Okay, I'm wasting time. I gotta put the angle back here. So, okay, uh, let's 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 get the show on the road. Ugh, too much chunk is in the way. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so let's see. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, I'm gonna loosen the screw. Case screw. It's a half head, I call it, because they filed half the head off. It makes it easier to take out, but I just don't like the uh, destruction of the parts. And then the movement will... Well, what I should have done first, I should have taken the hands off first. That's what I should do. I'm going to do that now. I'm always up from tweezers. We take these. Put my uh, dial protector. I'm gonna use the ones, uh, the hand removers that I made a few videos ago. Let's see. Yeah, these hands. Ah, it's not the best position. You gotta get uh, 180 apart from each other. Let's see how these work. Oh, they appear to work fine. Uh, where's my caps? I need my part caps. Eh, come on. And now I go to the second hand. Uh, oh, that's a little trickier because it's sunk. Eh, screw it. I can't get in there with that. It's sunk too deep. Ah, let's see. Let's see. Of course... Okay. You remember, you have to do even pressure on each side as you're lifting up. As you're going to snap off the, uh, the post there. Done with these. Now I'm gonna take the. Uh, let me get rid of this. this I want to get rid of. I want to move stuff out of the way. If I'm not, if I'm done with it, get it out of the way. Now I can take the movement out. Of course, now it's gonna. It's gonna give me a little bit of grief. Yeah, there you go. Get the case out of the way. Now where is my movement holder? There it is. Okay, well wait, I got this uh, dust ring thing. Let's see, yes, I remember now from a previous video there's pry points. And this one's on rather snug. What the heck was that? And I remember I had to use the uh, the case opener because the screwdriver is just too narrow. This thing snug all the way. There you go. 
Okay, that's out of the way. Now, dial. Let me take the dial off. Uh, this one has screws. The dial feet have little holes in them for brass pins. I don't know if you can see the little hole there. But uh, I guess, you know, from what I heard, this company, they didn't throw anything away. I mean, they had, uh, they were using key wine parts on pendant set, pendant wine watches. I don't blame them. Uh, let's see. That's number two. There's usually three. And there's the uh, third one. I'm not taking them out all the way because I probably we will lose them. Oh, while I'm here, you know, here's the uh, to let down the mainspring. So I might as well on this particular watch. It's over there by the barrel. So I might as well do this while it's here. So I moved it all the way. It did what it had to do. Let's see if the dial comes off. No, it doesn't. Ah, what did I do? Maybe there was four screws? They seem to be up. Maybe I gotta uh, pry it a little bit. That's very tight. I gotta take the screws out all the way. I didn't want to do that. Take them out more. Yeah, I never took this watch apart before, so. I think the feet were just tight. Yeah, it's off. Look at that. Looks like the solder turned to crap. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, it seems pretty solid. I'm not gonna screw with it because it'll probably fall apart. So, the dial's off. I put the, uh, Oh, I have one of these uh, metal washer things. Wait, let me flip this back over. And uh, get these things off before they fall off. Oh, there's the uh, release mechanism over here. I wonder what that does. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it moves the uh, click away. Okay, back to this side. I'm going to put those... I'm going to screw these case screws. These dial screws, excuse me. I'm going to put them in. Put them in for now so they don't fall out. While I'm manipulating the movement. Because these screws are tiny and they will get lost. Okay. Let's get to work on the... Uh, taking this apart. Get the dial out of the way. I'm done with it. Coming into the parts holder. Okay, let's get this into position. I gotta zoom out a little bit. Okay. Why did they lower this? I 
Yeah. Oh, I got a new uh, position for my light. Looks like it's a lot of glare. I might have to find another one. So, okay, first thing I take off is the... Uh, I'm going to take off and loosen the screw here for the... Uh, oh, you notice here that the uh, hair spring is held on by this uh, arm here that's screwed into the top plate. It's not attached to the balance cock. It's got this arm that holds it. That's like the old style. So, it's held in with the screw. So I'm going to take the screw out. I tell you, this is a lot better than the ones that they did where they had the hairspring pinned to the, uh, the stud coming out of the bottom plate. And then when you had to take the balance off, you had to take that little pin out and then remove the hairspring. And then, when, you know, if you don't put it back in the right place, it's out of time. But at least with this, you know, you're not changing the, uh, the length of the... Uh, hairspring that's being uh, vibrated or whatever. I'm going to... Wow, that is a lot of glare. I gotta do something about that. I can't do anything about that. Damn it. Why did I run the light? Oh, it's even more glare. It's even more glare. What about this way? Yeah, it's better. I gotta get. That's it. I gotta get. I don't know about lighting. I just don't have good lighting. I gotta see if I can take this off. I got it off from the other video I did with the mainspring. But I don't remember how I did it. I'm going to move this out of the way. I think I did something like this. I left it up just a little bit. So I can get something in there to pry it up. Yeah, there you go. That's I guess that's how I did it last time. Ah! Shot out. Oh well. Stuff happens. Okay, now I'm going to take the uh, balance cock off. I'm going to tighten this just a little bit. I don't like to tighten it too much because then it dents the, uh, the edge. Wow, too much shadow. I was trying to avoid the shadows. Now I remember this was a pain in the neck. This didn't want to come up easy. This one was tight. Come on. Yeah, okay. And so when you lift this thing off, the balance cock, you gotta make sure it's not dragging along the, uh, the hairspring between the guide posts, the guide pins on the uh, speed adjuster there, which this didn't. Okay. So now I can take the balance out. And you have to take it out together with that holder. I'm going to make sure it's not sticking in the freaking holes. So I got it off as one unit. Now I want to flip this over. Yeah, see this is bothers me. See how that uh, roller jewel? Let me get a pointer. Let's see, the roller jewel right here. 
it's supposed to be 90 degrees of the balance arms and in this one it isn't so I'm gonna have to fix that I have the capabilities so I'm gonna drop this in a container like that okay that was the tricky parts I guess now we're gonna remove the cover for the uh, barrel and I'm getting the shadow again let's see okay one screw I'm gonna get it out of the way I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Second screw. So this is the first time I'm totally taking this apart. Why did I do this last time? Oh, okay, like that. I mean, I took off... You know, it falls right back in and then the pins. Okay, now I can take the barrel out. <sighs> okay, now we do the, I guess the main plate, I don't know. Uh, I gotta take this screw out. Man, I get lighting. I gotta do something about this lighting. I take this screw out else you can't take the plate off. Let's see if I did it enough. Yay! Okay, so the top plate is just a couple of screws. I'm trying to do this lefty. I'm gonna hold this because I know it's gonna want to move. And one screw. And the next screw. Oops. Next screw. Okay, so let's see if we can get this plate off. I'm gonna use the back end of my case opener. Get the pry it. I usually pry it right next to the uh, the post there. Oh, that comes off easy. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. I hit something. So there is the I don't know the main plate. Oh. and you can see the. Uh, the pallet, the lever pallet, stuck to the uh, top plate, which is that's gonna stick to something. It's always a, a gamble what it's gonna stick to. Now this thing goes somewhere over. Here. Let's see, this thing would go somewhere over here, just for effect. Uh, okay, so there you go. This is the barrel here. Center wheel, third wheel, fourth wheel, escape wheel, lever, pallet, I don't know, English style, someone told me. And uh, that's that. Oh, I got one more container. I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to take all these things out. I should have. And escape. I escape, yeah. And I uh, take off this one. And this one. The fourth one is one usually with the uh, seconds. You can see it's very long. That's the seconds post. Oh, I forgot to take off the cannon pinion. I don't know what this screw does. This an extra plate? There's two screw here, a screw there. I don't know what that is. Does it show up on the other side? Nope, that came out. 
Oh, look at that. It's recessed. Uh, cannon pinion. Let's see if I can take that off. There's a tool, but I don't have it. So I usually pull it off with tweezers or something. Let's see if it will let me. Oh, it does. Okay. That was easy. Oops, and of course it falls out, which which is what I wanted it to do. So there's the uh, center wheel. Uh, oh, those little screws are tapped through to the other side. So there's the pillar plate, I think they call it, because it has the pillars. So I think that's it. I took this apart. These are easy to take apart, this key wine key set, because that setting and winding stuff makes things difficult. But, so, uh, yeah, just by seeing that that uh, lever, <coughs> excuse me, lever pallet was uh, sticking to the top plate. Yeah, this is some dried oil. I wonder if you can see if there's any dried oil on there. Yeah, you can see something on those jewels. No jewel in the center. And let me see this one again. What does this one look like? Let's see. I don't want to focus. Can't tell. It's, the lighting sucks. There's probably crud on them too. I'm gonna have to push out this capsule because I know there's dried oil in there. So let's do a group shot and call it a day. Let's see, group shot. Uh, group shot. I can't get in everything in. Well, I'll have to take this off the whole dinner. Group shot and call it a day. Uh, there's that in the. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to put that on top. There you go. Illinois watch kill. Courier watch. Taken apart. Uh, oh, I wanted to see how many jewels there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, it looks like. Thirteen. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 13 jewels. I guess that's better than 11, but not as good as 15. Anyway, uh, that's the end of the show. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll have to get better lighting. I'll have to work on that. I want to run this out to 23 and a half, so... Again, thank you very much.